Hello and welcome to the video for Wednesday, April the 29th for fourth grade. This is going to cover the homework uh, from Tuesday's lesson working with angles. So let's go ahead and take a look at the problems. So as I mentioned at the end of the lesson video, I was expecting this to be 90 degrees. So um, that's what I came up with for that one. For number uh, four, um, this would be what my angle looked like for 40 degrees. It could be rotated a little bit. And using this one to relate to this one, um, the measurement for A is about the same, or actually just a little bit bigger um, than that. And it looks like A is about halfway between, um, if we were to go ahead and um, put this on here, um, I got roughly 45 if I wanted to make this at 90 degrees and then go ahead and uh, add a line here just for fun, if I can get this to work. It looks like it could be roughly halfway between um, zero and 90 degrees. So 45 could be a good measurement for that. Um, again, give or take a little bit depending on your situation. Um, for number eight, um, I said that my laptop was open about 92 degrees when I was uh, doing that. So I just used that example. Um, if I got that measurement, I would have an obtuse angle because I would have an angle that would be larger than 90 degrees. So if you have a measurement that is like this one, where you're measuring the stairs, it's 45 degrees or whatever you came up with for that, less than 90 degrees, we would have an acute angle. Right angle would be exactly 90 degrees and a straight angle would be zero or 180 degrees. And I mentioned the uh, surface of my computer desk uh, would be at a measurement of either zero or 180. So number one on the back, I came up with 15 degrees uh, for the first one and 150 for the second. Um, again, using my uh, ruler, it got me at 30 degrees and I did 180 minus 30 to get that. So uh, if you are within a few degrees of uh, either of these, that should be fine. If you ended up with something a lot smaller than 150 or something almost 180. Uh, you might want to go back and look at that. And then same thing for this one. If you ended up with something drastically larger than 15, you might want to go back and take a look at that one as well. So those are the problems for the homework. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in Google Classroom, and I will be more than happy to help you. Again, we're trying to make the best of a situation where we couldn't send all of the resources that you need at home, I'm not going to expect you to go out and buy anything. There's no reason to um, just for the sake of a couple lessons that we're just kind of teaching you an idea that you'll use in the future. So I hope you have a great day. The next video, uh, actually, I um, believe Wednesday for you guys will also be office hours. Um, so the morning that this comes out, uh, there will be a... a um, uh, conference call from uh, the normal time. I believe it's going to be 11 to 1, uh, pending any changes uh, based on my schedule for this week. So hope you have a great day. Come by and visit if you get the chance. Uh, otherwise, send me a message on what you're working on for math review for that day since we won't have a new lesson on Wednesday. So hope you have a great day and I will see you tomorrow.